involved. And if you've got two people bottom fishing, somebody's going to have to put their pole down and, and net or gaff a fish for the other guy. It's very difficult to hold a rod with a 15-pound you know, grouper or a 25-pound bogey or something like that and gaff them as well as work the rod. Two people is the minimum. Three or four is even better. It's quite easily the case where if you get a big king on, uh, you need a guy to work the boat to spin the boat around, you need a guy to work the pole, you need another guy to work the gas. All three of those things have to happen and have to be coordinated so you have a good shot of landing that fish if that's what you want to do. Okay, so for a good fishing experience and for safety, uh, a good crew is essential. The captain's job is going to be to make a really careful plan. And if you've got a lot of experience, those captains will have an informal plan in their head. Although it's not a bad idea at all for the captain to write down something and say, all right, here's a, here's a rough float plan, here's the port we're going out of, here's the bout where we're going to be, here's when we expect to be back in, and give it to a spouse or somebody at the marina, just so if you're not back in at that time, somebody knows it, starts calling you or looking for you or doing something, rather than the next day or the day after that. All right, so the captain's job is to do that plan, but then he's going to have his experience in his crew to help do that. Learning is good. It's a real important part of every trip. You always want to learn something. But we in the fishing club emphasize the fact that we've got new people, and we want to help new people learn how to fish. So we try to, I try to, and most other people do, will invite folks and say, hey, you know, you, you're, you're new to the club. You want to go offshore fishing? You know, you've never been? Why don't you come with us? So you've got some guys that know what they're doing on the boat, the new guy. You can bring him along, and pretty soon he'll be on the board and helping us. I started off not knowing anything about offshore fishing, joined the club, and gosh, just a couple years later, I was doing all kinds of work, and I thought, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a newsletter, thanks to Bill like Charlie Parker. Okay, and finally, of course, if there's uh, several people in the crew, you've got uh, a cost factor where you can spread the cost out, everybody can pitch in a little, and it's going to work a lot better. Okay. Uh, that's my slides. Now we're going to go to uh, Charlie. To the following three topics, since they're not very technical. And what we're going to be covering 